We begin with the race for the White House. Donald Trump held a massive rally at Madison Square Garden in New York City on Sunday. However, the MAGA congregation was severely criticized for its racial rhetoric, coarse insults, and dangerous threats to immigrants. Starting off his speech with a so-called message of hope, the Republican presidential nominee once again pledged to carry out the largest deportation in American history. The United States is now an occupied country, but it will soon be an occupied country no longer. Not going to be happening. Not going to be happening. November 5th, 2024, nine days from now, will be Liberation Day in America. It's going to be Liberation Day. On day one, I will launch the largest deportation program in American history. Next Tuesday, you have to stand up and you have to tell Kamala Harris that you've done a terrible job, that crooked Joe Biden has done a terrible job. You've destroyed our country. We're not going to take it anymore. Kamala, you're fired. Get out. Get out. You're fired. Now, joining Donald Trump was his biggest donor, Elon Musk, who again called himself a dark MAGA supporter. As you can see, I'm not just MAGA, I'm dark gothic MAGA. Well, it's the energy in this room is incredible. But there's a lot of people out there. Who, uh, who need to vote for, for President Trump, okay? So, the, like, this is a real battle. This is a real election battle. So you need to get friends and family to, to vote. Make sure they vote. Vote early. This is important. Now, of course, it didn't take long for Donald Trump's loyalists to show their true colors as they unleashed a slew of racist and hate-filled remarks against the Puerto Rican community and Vice President Kamala Harris. Calling the American territory of Puerto Rico an island of garbage, Donald Trump's allies sparked massive outrage from Democrats, Puerto Ricans, and even fellow Republicans. Like, I don't know if you guys know this, but there's literally a floating island of garbage in the middle of the ocean right now. Yeah, I think it's called Puerto Rico. Where are my proud Latinos at tonight? You guys see what I mean? It's wide open. There's so many of them. It's absolutely incredible. Believe it or not, people, I welcome migrants to the United States of America with open arms. And by open arms, I mean like this. <laughs> it's wild. And these Latinos, they love making babies, too. The verbal attacks then switched from immigrants to Vice President Kamala Harris as conservative commentator Tucker Carlson spewed racist comments at the Democrat by labeling her a Samoan Malaysian, knowing very well that Kamala Harris is half black and half Indian. Kamala Harris, she's just, she got 85 million votes because she's just so impressive. As the first Samoan Malaysian low IQ former California prosecutor ever to be elected president, it was just a groundswell of popular support. And anyone who thinks otherwise is just a freak or a criminal. The dark tone continued throughout the hours-long rally as Donald Trump's loyalists piled on vulgar and racist remarks one after the other. You know something, Trump maniacs? I don't see no stinking Nazis in here. I don't see no stinking domestic terrorists in here. The only thing I see in here are a bunch of hard-working men and women that are real Americans, brother. The racist and hate-filled rally comes just eight days before a majority of Americans go to the ballot box despite early voting seeing record turnouts. The election is hinging on battleground states with most crucial being Georgia, North Carolina, Pennsylvania, and Arizona, where the race still remains neck and neck. Over 41 million Americans have already cast their ballots as Kamala Harris 
and Donald Trump announced a blitz of rallies for this week to ensure maximum voter turnout. However, Donald Trump's racist and vulgar rally at Madison Square Garden may turn out to be a major wake-up call to many, particularly in the Republican camp. First Post decodes the U.S. election, explains how America chooses its president, your primer on the race to the White House, everything you need to know about how America votes, and its global implications. U.S. Election Explained, every Monday and Thursday only on First Post.